Hey there, this is Ed Herzog, and what I want to show you today is how to create a table of contents in Elementor. Now, this is something you can do using either the basic version of Elementor or the Pro version, but you know, just to emphasize that you don't need the Pro version to do what I'm about to show you. Now, there may be some sort of plugin that can do this as well. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of add-ons for Elementor, but you know, if you don't have access to one of these, you know, special add-ons you can do this right within Elementor itself. So I've got a blog post here on my website. It's called 27 Simple Ways to Increase Online Sales. And it's a long blog post. It's uh, over 6,000 words long. So I wanted to put a, a table of contents on this, right? So that, you know, I've got this table of contents and these are clickable links. So somebody clicks on this first one and boom, it scrolls right down to that item. Uh, or if they say, hey, I want to know about this one here, number 13, they click on 13 and it goes down to number 13. So how do you set something like that up in Elementor? It's actually very easy, very simple. So here I am in the editor. Now, first of all, one thing you'll probably want to do is you want to do something to make the table of contents stand out. Now, in my case, I did it pretty simple. You know, I just put, I've got two headers here, one with, uh, you know, it says table of contents, the other one, uh, with the repeating the title of the blog post. And then I've got a background here that, you know, is different than the rest of the blog post, which is all pretty much white. So, you know, this gives it a, something that makes it stand out a bit. And you can do this one of two ways. Now, in my case, uh, the rest of the blog post, I believe, yeah, it's all one section. So what I did is I simply added an intersection using this intersection widget and then deleted one of the columns. That way I could put a separate background on this part right here. If you're using separate sections within your blog post, then you know you could just create this using a separate section. But uh, the most important thing is that, you know, do something here to make it stand out. Now, from there, you know, you've got a few options. I just did this all in a text editor, right? The text editor widget here on Elementor. And I just uh, added each of the items, okay? But you, you could do, uh, the important thing here is you've got to be able to create a separate link to each of these items. So however you want to do that, you can do this with headings, you could do it with uh, an icon list. Uh, there might be some other options, but you know, I just decided to do it the most simple way possible, which is just you know, do it all within one text editor. So once you've got, uh, got that set up, you know, got all your uh, different titles put in here, what you do is you've got to go in and highlight each of them. And then you click on uh, the link button uh, and okay, just remove the link. Now I'm going to go back and put it back in, but uh, okay. So insert edit link. What you want to do is you first press the, the pound button on your keyboard, or I guess what you use nowadays to create a hashtag for Twitter or whatever other uh, social network. So you press that first, then you give it whatever name you want. So this one for me is called increase the length of your guarantee. So I'll just put in guarantee and go ahead and apply that. And you've got to go through and do this individually for each one of your, uh, one, one of the, each one of the items in your table of contents. Then you come down to the appropriate part for each of your table of contents. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in a menu anchor. And so you put that in here. And it shows up here on the editor, but you know, you'll know you see it when you look at the blog post, those don't show up. It doesn't create space, nothing. It's, it's completely 100% invisible on the actual blog post. It only shows up uh, on the editor. And so you'll come to that and you'll type the exact same thing that you typed above. So again, using the pound sign and then a name. And it says here, note the ID link only accepts these characters. A through Z capitalized, A through Z small, zero through nine, and it looks like a dash, so, and maybe a comma. Uh, and so, oh, I'm sorry, underline, comma, and dash. So these are the only characters it accepts. You can't use other characters. So, you know, just put something simple in there that, you know, again, relates to whatever the item is. Uh, make sure they're the same, that the link is the same as here, and, and that's it. And what you can do, what I did is, you know, you just come here and you duplicate this, and then you drag it down to the next one, right? And then just change the name to match whichever the next one is. Very simple process uh, to set up. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't really need it. But you know, you can see that's all I did was I just 
copied and dragged in the next one and put in the and then change the name till it matched the link for this particular one. And then the last step, which you really want to make sure you've done properly, is that you know sometimes you'll make a mistake. I mean, I made about three or four mistakes when I set this up. So you've got to go through here into your blog post and make sure that each one of these individually works. Because if you don't, you know, if you type something wrong, if you forget the pound sign, if you make a spelling error, uh, then it's not going to work. And so you know, you obviously don't want that. So you know, you've got to go through each of these individually and make sure they work. And, and that's it. Again, it's a very simple process. Uh, if you've got any questions about how to set this up, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more videos coming out on how to use Elementor and, and Elementor Pro. Um, even though this is not something you need the Pro version to use, um, you know, I do, I, I mentioned this all in my videos, you know, I think for me, Elementor Pro is by far the best thing I've ever bought for my business. I just think it's fantastic. I love it. I've been using it since it first came out. Uh, if you're not currently on Pro and want to upgrade, I will put my affiliate link in the in the description. You know, I always appreciate when people buy through my affiliate link and, you know, that gives me, uh, you know, a little money that helps me continue to make these videos and continue to, uh, you know, hopefully help you grow your business and, you know, become better at Elementor. So that's it. Have a great day. And again, any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks. Bye.